Not a good look. Those are those are Adidas, right? No. No? Really? I have no idea what they are, but they're meant. They're meant for space travel. Also, okay. I don't know any Adidas with spikes on the tips. I know plenty. All right, going into game two. K9 up one game here against Nico. Another Pokemon Stadium game. Oh, yeah, playing that space game. Very nice tech in from K9 there. I already see an adjustment to the play here. Uh, it's really just trying to deal with uh, the way that K9 will rush you down. I, I like what I'm seeing from Nico right now. Nice. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just catching him immediately. Wow, if he got that back air, I actually would have fallen out of my chair. I do like all the special canine has been putting on, even when Nico has Smash Art on. So yeah. it's just wasting an art there, and Nico doesn't need any art for that up air to kill. Bruh. Okay, going into speed. <laughs> no, I, I don't really know. Oh, I, I know what happened. like that. Yeah, when you get hit by that. No, um, I know that uh, when you're in jump art, you have better aerial mobility. But what about speed? Does that change your aerial mobility at all? Does it, it make it worse? You you move faster overall. Um, you have less height, uh, less jump height. Yes. And uh, your up B also has less height. That oh, was okay. a change made to Shulk in Ultimate that wasn't in Smash 4. OK, that's a good thing, I'd say, because speed is actually really crazy. Don't think I need to really emphasize on why. We're going to find out why, unless we get grabbed and forward aired. Nice Very nair. Nice. Just continuing his chain with a nair forward air there. Oh, yeah, dealing with the cross up in the wrong way. Okay. Yeah, K K9 is very good at choosing his options and knowing what is inappropriate and what's not appropriate. Very nice, just landing with a weak nair there to push Nico back off to the ledge. Mm. Oh, were we about to see a down air? Uh, maybe later. Uh, missing that dash attack, that has some implications on it, especially when you got the smash. Okay, applying some good shield damage too uh, from Nico. Oh, that was such good spacing, too. I love that. The dash back, hitting him with the back air. Look where K9 is now. Wow. Very nice. Going to catch him holding onto that ledge there with the, uh, last, with the bottom hit up there. I'm shocked that Nico's edge guard attempt failed. I really thought that was going to hit. Down throw. Very nice DI out from K9 oh. and just barely missed the up air. Oh, yeah. We living for sure. Oh, yeah. He just... He just spaced it a little better that time. He's constantly been going for that back air, and it just worked out that time. He must have been uh, paying attention to the way that K9 has been getting off from the ledge. All right, and now Nico is uh, pretty mindful of how K9 is approaching right now. Good shot. Ooh, good! Wow, barely clipping him with his toes. Very nice, fair to catch him on the aggressive attempt with the back air there from Nico. Hmm. Good up air. Oh, and the buster. Oh, no. That was such a setup. <laughs> oh, my God. K9. Art's coming. Smash Art. Dude, no. Wow, he rolled up that ledge. Yeah, seriously. Dude. Okay, back air. You can put that back air quite often. Ooh. And I like how he changed his options there, too. Jumping Fort instead. Air. Now, fourth one. Not going to kill. Yeah, we don't have a smash mode anymore. At least for, I believe, 10 seconds. Yeah. <gasps> the parry! New K9 was going to land with a with an aggressive option and caught him with a parry. It's not dead just yet, though. Wow. Nico is being very cognizant of how K9 is getting off. Blah. Okay, okay. So, many times over, Nico has been getting the back air. He's been getting the back air whenever K9 wants to get back on the ledge. So, um... The, like, the third to last time that K9 got back, he jumped and narrowly avoided the back air, right? So the next time that <laughs> Nico put K9 in an edge guarding situation, he saw, hey, you want to start jumping now? Okay, I'll catch you with that forward air. Forward though. No, he hit him with the forward air the, before he killed him. Oh, okay. Mm. Three, two, All right, game three. 
One and one apiece. All right, back uh, back into it, but now on Town and City. Very nice, Blaster from K9, just uh, opening up the game. Oh. Uh. All right, yo. Not really caring about shield that much. Yes. Ooh, got him with the uh, the late hit of that nair. Yeah, that nair is just so gross. So gross. Look what it look what it just got him. Good cross up. See this aerial drifting. It 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 looks so simple, but it's really not. You have to be very aware of where your opponent is. It takes a lot of practice too. Do you like what Nico's doing? Just using the very end of the Monado just to push out K9, just to keep uh, this ledge guard going. That was a great recovery. Very nice high recovery from K9 there, but he's got to watch out. Back there, we're going to put him back off. And very nice weight on the air dodge from uh, Nico. Yeah, before all that happened, I saw K9 try to land with the late hit of Nair, but uh, he didn't. He was in the recovery frames, and then Shulk got to punish him pretty hard. Into jump Monado here. Not going to be able to get the dash attack after landing the, the oh, Nair. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Keep your cool, take a deep breath, my man. There's no need for that. Down the throw. throw. Very nice DI out, but now he has no double jump. Yeah, but we're back. We're back. Ah, I'm, take a breather, man. These up smashes are getting you in trouble. All right, Very nice. nice. Kick. Not going to kill Town City big. Too big. No, nah, I like Town City. All right, the dash attack. Huh, I wonder how safe that dash attack is um, when spaced properly. Oh, oh, the tech. Okay, looking pretty good. Very Once nice attempt from K9 there, but uh, he got a little bit too uh, smart about that. Yeah, man. Oh, no grab. Yeah, trying to get him with that up air cheese. Ooh. Yeah, keeping those stocks intact. No way. I I just I don't anticipate any changes. I, I think we're gonna see the same stage. I think we're gonna see the same characters. Um, what what does K9 have to do here? Uh, possibly. Okay, so we're okay. So my first part of my analysis was wrong. Po uh, possibly play. Uh, not more aggressive, but what is it? I can't think right now. Um, like, Kenan is doing well when he's playing aggressive, but he's choosing times to go in. Um, not well. He's not choosing the right times to go in. There we go. Mm. Could be could be using the laser a bit more to try to provoke Nico. Okay, good forward tilt. Oh man. Okay, so he, <laughs> yeah, that, that's funny about that up air. Like, it seems like a lot of Shulk's moves have a lot of startup, and I think that would be one thing to exploit. But that would also require you being in Shulk's face, and then you have to get there first. And I think that's one of the design elements of Shulk is the fact that you can get in. It takes a really long time, but once you do, Shulk doesn't really have a lot of options because a lot of his moves have just crazy startup. Oh, good up it. tilt. Yeah, Smash R tilt gonna take that stock very quickly. Oh, okay. I I think I think Kanan was trying to get ready for like an out of shield option. Oh, gotta stop. Land I think that's one thing he can start doing is stop landing on top of of uh, Nico because a lot of the time I've seen him die. It's like uh, up air, even though you know Shulk is the one putting him in that position. Um, he just has to be careful when he's above Shulk like that. Okay, the roll. Oi. Very nice. Gonna put him oh, up. Oh, just slammed him. Aha. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. All right, back throw. Not going to be able to do anything oh. just yet. Uh, Good pivot grab. Too, too uh, low percent. Uh-huh. Ooh, I felt like that down air would have connected, but... Back air came out instead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that didn't look intentional to me either, unless he was going for some crazy meta hyper thousand IQ. Nah, I don't think so. Oh, letting go too early. Okay, okay. Still abusing, still abusing the wolf jank. Okay, very nice. 
Alright, Nico trying to space out with the back airs here in neutral. Uh, but K9 found him moving oh. inside. <laughs> Nico clearly very aware of the uh, down throw dash attack going into shield immediately. I like it. Alright, these fairs still stringing through. <laughs> He's trying to go into shields like, wait, I already used that. Yeah, just you gotta take the damage. Yeah, and K9's got a pretty okay lead right now. Oh, okay. for another back air, but uh, not gonna be able to connect. Mmm. Wolf skills. Mmm. Back throw? Not yep. gonna kill? Nah, I didn't have the smish. Oh, whiffing that grab, however. Okay, got that laser. Yeah, just got to keep playing it smart, you know? You don't really have to challenge uh, Shulk at all. If you're in the lead, you don't really have to do much of anything except let them come to you. All right, yeah, and he came to him. He brought it. Oh, yeah, I, I could just smell the back air. Yeah, and he, he did it. Boy, he did it. All right, very nice dash attack from K9 there, trying to set up into the up air. He's not going to be able to get anything. K9 really wants this nice. kill. He does get the back air, and that is a kill. You know what? I liked what I saw. I saw K9 go for cross-unders. That was good. Yeah, people people are always saying, uh, you know, talking about cross-ups and whatnot, and those are very important elements of the game, but uh, I don't really hear people talking about the cross-under. Good old cross-under. Definitely going to be able to stuff stuff the shulk. All right. Going to game five, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. So it seems to me, <laughs> don't be above Shulk, or any character, but definitely Shulk, and go under him when you have the chance. Even though, you know, Nair. Nair's a problem, but when isn't Nair a problem? Um, going under Shulk is a problem in general, not just because of Nair, because, but also because Fair can possibly reach below Shulk. As yeah, well. it does. But it also has a lot of uh, crazy startup, which was uh, the point I was making a little earlier. So I think that would be the time to exploit with Shulk. And is. like with the way Nico plays, he's not—he's also not afraid of using landing there. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's very good at using it. And we're in the Buster. Oh, just before Buster ran out, he was able to take a little bit of damage. K9 uh, capitalizing a bit. Uh, yeah, always trying to land on top of Shulk. He gets in trouble for that. Very nice. Uh, weak Nair into grab, fourth throw. Not going to lead into anything. I do like these tech chases that K9 has been setting up for himself, but Nico hasn't been falling into them. Yeah. Oh, the double jump. Wow, that was a crazy reaction from Nico. I I almost want to say that was unintentional. That was so fast. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, didn't really get the tech chase he needed. Oh, dude. Very yeah. nice jump arc backslash, but that down smash is going to take him on the aggressive Nair out of, uh, out of the ledge. That really was a good uh, backslash, though, because he couldn't really get challenged with back air from Wolf. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, I don't know if he meant to do that forward smash. and Maybe a dash attack, but whatever. It happens. Good spacing. Really good spacing. Getting out of Nair range. Okay. Oh, yeah. He, he meant to move a bit forward before going for that grab. I wanted to do the same thing. All right, back into jump arc here. Nico looks like he's trying to make sure that K9 stays above him, but going to run out of jump, uh, uh, jump arc there. Okay. Okay. I like the special game from uh, Smash Arc uh, Nico. Oh, 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 no. That was awful. <laughs> you know, that had, uh, that spoke volumes. Oh, he actually saved him there. He did. He actually did. Never mind. He should be dead. Nope, he's not dead. Nico saved him there. Wow. That all happened from a footstool. The tiniest footstool you ever did see. But that ended up working out for Nico. Nico getting hit with the back air upside the head, but it's not going to send him anywhere because of <gasps> shield art. Punish. Yes. All right, we're going to jump, and then we're going to get down tilted, and then we're just not going to air slash to safety. Wow, that worked out for K9. I haven't seen the down tilt work all the time for K9 like that, but it definitely did that time. Okay, yep. He, because uh, Shulk did that. Shulk did that the last time that uh, uh, K9 tried to do the dash attack from the down throw. Yeah, there's a moment uh, after getting hit where Shulk can 
uh, can Dal art. And uh, Mika has been using it really well to keep shield monado up, uh, shield art up mm. whenever he needs it to. Yeah, but if K9, ooh, okay, that wasn't that was not a good thing to get hit by. But I think if, if K9 can just play the spacing game, he gets his combo. Yeah, that's that happened three different times. Has to be more aware of that, or at least react accordingly. I'm sure it's like a muscle memory because it is a very good follow up. But uh, fair, taking it. Yeah, man. Gonna I, catch him. 